as the players break for lunch. Let's have a look at all the highlights from the first session. Here we go. Yeah, just a gentle start. Runs. Beautiful stroke. First boundary of the morning. Lovely stroke. Lovely stroke. His timing is impeccable. It really is. Oh, that's quick. Well played in the end. Out, 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 out. Got him, Dale Stain has his first one. Disappointing for Opul Taranga. Just looked to get out of the way. But then really didn't have anywhere to go. Pays the penalty of not watching the ball closely. Moment he thought it was short, it was about getting underneath it. Upul Tarango for 11. South Africa make the breakthrough. It's 16 for 1. It's in the air. And out first ball, Kumar Sangakara. It's a huge wicket for Dale Stain in South Africa. Unbelievable shot from Kumar Sangakara. Every innings when he's walked out, that first ball has been short. He was expecting that. Just helps it on its way to Imran Tahir. This is massive for South Africa. Good bowling. And Sangakara makes a big mistake. First ball. 16 for two. Emphatically dispatched through mid wicket for four. Ends the sixth. 22 for two. Nicely tucked around the corner, nice and fine. He knew exactly where fine leg was it. By Hila J. Wardner. Stain muttered. J. Wardner, header for four. Bread and butter for someone like Mahela J. Wardner. Strong wrists. Wow. Goodness me. Now that's disappointment for Vernon Philander. He was searching for his first wicket on the tour and that looked straightforward to me. It was in and out, should have been taken. Unnecessary shot from Kaushal Silva, just went at a wide deal. Oh, he missed it. He just lost the sight of it. Came off the toe of the bat, it shouldn't make a difference. Good push. Good control. Seriously good experience. Nicely played. Didn't hit the ball hard, it was just a gentle push, but the timing was so, so perfect. That hasn't deviated and it's gone beautifully for four. Nice shot. He's been biding his time, Kaushal Silva. He's been waiting for that ball for the drive. Shot. Oohs and ahs, but he got that away comfortably. Jair Wardena, four runs. Oh dear! Straight through and off to the boundary for four. Nicely played. It's a good shot that. Just gets there. Breathing space for Sri Lanka. It's another good shot. And will get for four as well. Beautiful drives. Who was that uh, short leg? He's now at a square leg. <laughs> Here be. Too many. It's short. That's 
cut away and put away as well. So 13 off the over. It's 83 for two. Just as you said it. The jinx. Full toss again. Put away again. Easy pickings for the Sri Lankans. And that's just all in control from Mahela Jar Wardner. Never in any danger whatsoever. Very safe shot. Short and wide. Had the bounce to play with. Down the wicket and down the ground for four from Mahela Jar Wardner. He's gone past Kaushal Silva with that boundary. No, very well played. Played fine, in fact. Might be cut off, but that should be Mahela Jawadana's 50, is it? It is. Yet another half century for the Sri Lankan great. He's 49th in Test cricket. He continues to pile on the agony at the SSC for the opposing bowlers. What a lovely innings from Mahela Jawadana. Seven boundaries and innings that's full of finesse and timing. Got him. That's better, That's better. Well, would you believe it? The change of bowling from uh, from Hashim Amla has found the outside edge of Castle Silver, and it's well held that slip by A.B. de Villiers. It's the angle he created, and a poor shot by Kaushal Silva, reaching for a wide delivery. Good catch by uh, de Villiers at slip. The trick has worked. Uh, he's been leaking runs, but he's also got the important wicket. It all seems, as far as he's concerned, will be forgiven with this wicket. Kaushal Silva, an important one, just before lunch. Goes for 44, he should be disappointed. It's 115 for three, when then it creates pressure. Let's go, A successful over for JP Dumini and South Africa, 115 for three. And there is, will not be a further over from Dale Stain as umpire Nigel Long removes the bales and lunch is called